Now, Bernie Sanders keeps getting asked about Hillary Clinton's book. Now, that book takes a lot of shots at the former Democratic nominee, uh, or Democratic candidate, sorry, uh, and blames her or blames him for her embarrassing loss to Donald Trump. Now, Sanders recently stopped by MSNBC to talk to Chris Hayes, uh, and Hayes decided to, of course, as usual, ask him about these passages and what he thinks, uh, and here's his response. Let's take a look. And so she says, no matter how bold and progressive my policy proposals were, Bernie was something even bigger, loftier, and leftier, regardless of whether it was realistic or not. And then Jake Sullivan has this uh, analogy to there's something about Mar Mary, where a deranged hitchhiker says he's come with a brilliant plan. Instead of famous eight-minute abs exercise routine, he's going to market seven-minute abs. It's the same, just quicker. I.E. Bernie Santa's just stole all of Hillary Clinton's ideas. Does anybody really believe that? Yes. I actually think she does believe that. Now, what's funny is that how, how can you plead guilty to being a moderate and then being a progressive who gets things done? Well, that's very absurd. The mental gymnastic that you have to have to reconcile those two positions is something that only Peter Dow can pull off, right? And look, so it, it, to be honest, she's not even a moderate, right? Yes, a lot of people, oh, she's a moderate, she's a moderate. No, no, at her core, she is center-right which in our political cl uh, climate is considered mainstream liberal when it's actually nowhere near actual liberal. That's where Bernie Sanders is at. He's not an extreme leftist. He's to the left. So that's why I call her neoliberal, which basically means she's more socially liberal, but incredibly corporatist in her policies. That's what neoliberal is. Uh, so, but anyway, it's super funny how it's like, oh, you stole all of Hillary's ideas. No, no, no. Hillary stole your ideas, at least some of them. And it still wasn't enough. Now, Sanders is going to continue. The truth is, and the real story is, that the ideas that we brought forth during that campaign, which was so crazy and so radical, have increasingly become mainstream. I talked about a $15 an hour minimum wage. Right. Hillary did not. You know what? We got 31 co-sponsors on legislation for $15 an hour minimum wage. Talked about a trillion dollar infrastructure. We talked about uh, making health care a right of all people through Medicare for all. Medicare for all is becoming mainstream within the Democratic uh, Party. So many college making public colleges and universities tuition free. Talk to the governor of the state of New York. He's pretty proud of his accomplishment. So what I'm saying here, Chris, is yep. many of the ideas that we talked about that Secretary Clinton and others said, oh, those are too far out. They are the ideas that are sweeping America. And they are. That's absolutely true. I mean, just to show you, you've got Kamala Harris, right? Now, Kamala Harris is the next establishment figure that is being groomed for 2020, right? Even she's like, yeah, I'm going to co-sponsor Medicare for all. You have uh, Elizabeth Warren now jumping in. You have Cory Booker, um, who's hasn't uh, signed on for Medicare for all, but has decided, hey, you know what? Uh, we're gonna, I, I'm gonna go and help Bernie Sanders try to import drugs from Canada to allow us to import drugs to Canada, which would actually be a lot cheaper, as well as legalizing marijuana. So these progressive positions are actually having an impact on the Democratic Party. Now, of course, Hillary Clinton, for her part, she despises that. Her message is, overall in this book especially, don't hand the keys over to the Democratic Party to Bernie Sanders. He's not one of us. He's not a Democrat. That's not a smear. No, 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 no. No, he came in not to win the Democratic uh, nomination or not to uh, help a Democratic president. No, he came in to disrupt the Democratic Party. How dare you turn over to his side? That's kind of hilarious because Hillary Clinton's poll numbers are literally lower than Donald Trump's, where Bernie Sanders, over 60%. Of the American public approve of him. He's got a highest approval rating. He's got a plus 18 uh, percentage points compared to disapproval uh, approval slash disapproval. And she is literally underwater, worse than Donald Trump. It shows that nobody likes her ideas, and especially nobody likes her. <laughs> now, what's funny is that, look, if Hillary is the progressive that she claimed that she was, which half the time we don't know because She's like, oh, I'm guilty of being a moderate, but I'm also super progressive that gets things done. Well, if you are a progressive and you actually want to serve the people, then you should applaud this 
leftward shift in the party towards policies that are incredibly popular with the American people. But we know the answer. She's not a progressive. She is a Republican. And we know that. Now, Sanders also went on to explain later on to Chris Hayes that unlike Clinton's shift to the leftist issues, his policies were long part of his plan to change America through progressive populism. Though he is not technically a Democrat, and I'm reading this from Mediaite, the independent senator went on to claim that his political revolutions, ideas, and beliefs he has always talked about. So, now this again brings, back, brings me back to a ridiculous claim that Bernie's stealing his or her ideas. No, again, you're stealing his ideas. Now, I don't mind if you actually take his ideas. You know why? Because they're good ideas, right? But then to come back, abandon those ideas, and then shamelessly lie about it, after, as I said, taking those ideas and then calling them uh, that, that you previously called pie in the sky, is this another reason why people just don't like you? Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.